Welcome to Unfiltered. Here's tonight's headline. Canceled. ABC, after which rebooted the one-time hit comedy Roseanne earlier this year as a peon to Trump's America, just canceled the ratings juggernaut after a wave of recent racist tweets by the controversial comic went viral. In the tweets, she suggested Chelsea Clinton was related to the liberal billionaire activist George Soros. She isn't. And called Soros a Nazi. Far worse, she said of former Obama administration advisor Valerie Jarrett, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals VJ, Valerie Jarrett. That Roseanne Barr has gone ahead on Twitter and revealed herself to be an unhinged, mouth-breathing, racist conspiracy monger isn't the strange part. It's that she's revealed herself again. ABC falsely believed they hired Roseanne, the character, a blue-collar every woman, who was sharp-tongued but fun-loving and, yes, a Trump supporter. But what they got was Roseanne, the person, who is, to put it politely, a nut job. Before she was fired, Roseanne apologized, sort of, calling the racist remarks a joke. I am truly sorry for making a bad joke about her politics and her looks, Barr tweeted. I should have known better. Forgive me, my joke was in bad taste. Upon her firing, ABC released this condemnation. Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we have decided to cancel her show. Disney CEO Bob Iger added on Twitter that there was only one thing to do here, and that was the right thing. So what's their excuse for hiring her again? Remember, this is a woman who was an early supporter of birtherism, has compared Muslims to Nazis, took to Twitter regularly to attack citizens both private and public, floated wild conspiracy theories, and bullied Trump opponents with racist, homophobic, and anti-Semitic insults. She infamously dressed up as Hitler for a photo shoot and posed with burnt, quote, Jew cookies, and has promoted anti-Semitic personalities like the Holocaust denier Gilad Atzman. Here's the deal. As risks go, Roseanne came with a ton of them. How did ABC think this was going to go? Suddenly becoming a network star again would put the crazy back in the bottle? Sorry, that's not how this works. You either knew what you were getting or you hoped no one would care. As the acclaimed poet Maya Angelou once said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Joining me now is Elizabeth Wagmeister, senior correspondent at Variety and co-host of Page Six TV, and Frank Pallotta, media reporter for CNN Money. Um, Elizabeth, ABC's reaction was, was swift. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we've long known about Roseanne Barr's conspiracy peddling, anti-Semitism, racism. Uh, apparently for ABC, the, the bridge too far was comparing Valerie Jarrett to an ape. For others, the bridge too far was like eight bridges ago. Why did it take this for the network to say, maybe this isn't a good idea? You're absolutely right that with Roseanne, you know what you're getting. She has a track record, to say the least. She's inflammatory. You never know what she's going to say on Twitter. Actually, at the Upfront presentation just a few weeks ago, which is, of course, the presentation when the network shows all their goods mm -hmm. to the advertisers, those $9 billion at stake there going around, they actually joked about Roseanne's Twitter because they knew that it was under a microscope. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this was the one tweet that made them crossed the line, but it clearly was. Now, what I will say is the president of ABC, Channing Dungy, she's the first ever African-American woman to lead a broadcast network. This was not going to happen under her watch. She, as you said, acted swiftly. And even though this was their highest rated show, and by the way, the highest rated scripted show on primetime television yeah. in the 18 to 49 demo, doesn't matter if you have 18 million viewers, if they're not gonna watch and if advertisers are going to pull. Yeah, and Frank, you and I were talking about this earlier. You made, you made the point that this tweet was terrible. I think she probably was a bad hire to begin with, but certainly uh, the right decision to fire her. But this is big. This was a huge ratings juggernaut. You were actually surprised. Most people on Twitter were as well. If you followed a lot of reporters, a lot of people in the industry, this is a really shocking day for television because think of it this way. When in the history of television has the number one scripted show yeah. been just completely wiped out, completely scrubbed. If you go to the ABC press site right now, you can't even find any Roseanne content. It's like it didn't even happen. It is so crazy to think that 
at the end of March, we had all these think pieces and, and all these written pieces about how the Roseanne effect was going to bring back all of this different kind of family dynamics. Mm. And less than a couple months later, it's completely gone. Well, yeah, I mean, not, not only was there a lot of enthusiasm for bringing back this kind of show, which has a nostalgia. I mean, I grew up on Roseanne, and, and it was always more about class than it was about some of the other things. Now it's very clearly, at least season one, was very clearly a nod at Trump voters and trying to live in the time. But Trump is divisive. Trump is controversial. What weren't, wasn't ABC and, 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 and Roseanne, weren't they always going to walk into this problem getting so cozy with Trumpism and the politics of today. Right, and that's why I think, Frank, to your point, this was shocking yes. that they just canceled it so swiftly because this has never happened in the history of television. But shocking, yes. Unimaginable, no. When you have Roseanne as the star of your show, you never know what's going to happen. This was almost a matter of when, not if. Well, and so Sarah Gilbert, who had the idea uh, to bring this show back, tweeted, um, this is incredibly sad, difficult for us all, as we've created a show that we believe in, are proud of, and that audiences love, one that is separate and apart from the opinions and words of one cast member. She's not one cast member, she's the cast yeah. member, right? It's it is her show. Her yes. show. Uh, I, I get her wanting to make that distinction, but sorry, no go. I mean, it's called Roseanne. Mm -hmm. It's not like they could replace her with someone else. She is the show itself. Yeah. And to, like, when I mean shocking, what I mean by that is ABC knew what it was getting into. There were stories about how they kind of came up with this idea after the election. They 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 have in the internet. They know what her Twitter right. timeline looked like. <laughs> and a lot of us just kind of felt like, hey, they'll probably say this was not, this is against our values, maybe give her a slap on the wrist. But at the end of the day, they pulled the plug. They yeah. were just done with it. And that's what the real shock was. Well, you know, to me, the worst, sorry, Elizabeth, finish that thought. But but um, I, I, I also just, I want to talk about sort of the, the waste of talent here, right? Because this is a show with I'm sure dozens, maybe even hundreds of people who work on it. Mm -hmm. um, incredibly talented people like Sarah Gilbert, like John Goodman. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of them left holding the bag or unemployed now. Right. And that's why it's such a, it feels so unnecessary for all of this to have happened mm -hmm. because you knew this, that controversy like this was, was going to jeopardize the show at some point. Right, and you know, it's not just the show being pulled, they've already scrapped the Emmy campaign. So at Variety, we had a Roseanne cover, an FYC cover, for your consideration yeah. cover that was coming, that's already been scrapped. They're scrapping all plans to even push this for an Emmy. So it's not just the jobs that are being lost, it's the praise that comes with this first season of The Revival that's also being taken away from all of these cast members. But Frank, to your point, the show is called Roseanne. You can't bring it back without her. And I think that's why they had to cancel this so quickly, because what's the show going to be, Roseanne's family? You can't well, and yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to make this kind of comparison totally, but she kind of got the Kevin Spacey treatment in that she is stripped. It is gone. It's mm -hmm. like it never happened. Remember, he was in the midst of shooting a movie. They, they, they put someone else in it mm -hmm. like he didn't even exist. Um, I think that's an attempt at sort of moving past this story very quickly. Uh, I got to ask, relatedly-ish, Keith Oberman has recently been hired, rehired, I guess for the sixth time, by ESPN, uh, parent company, ABC. Um, Keith Olbermann is a guy who's been fired, suspended by nearly every employer he's had. He's a terrible person to work with. He is a prolific misogynist. Believe me, I can speak from experience. Um, is this a problem? Is this a bad look for ABC? You know, it's an interesting point that you bring up. I think what we'll have to keep an eye on there is how are ratings, where's the audience, and also where are the advertisers? Because with Roseanne, I think they knew there was no way this show was coming back. Nobody would advertise their product with a family-friendly sitcom. That's what it was supposed to be. So I think we'll have to wait and see what happens with Keith. Is mm -hmm. the money there or are the viewers there?